we had to move out of this town. Uh, even Railroad Avenue was too expensive for us. Across the border from this town was a very poor town um, with a horrible school system. And I said, I can't go to that school. Uh, it's not good for me. Uh, so I went to the superintendent of schools of, uh, of this town in Connecticut. And I hand wrote uh, a letter to him outside of his office explaining why we had to move and uh, what it meant for me to not finish school there and on and on. And I signed it and uh, I gave it to the secretary. She read it. I remember she looked at it quizzically. I thought she must think I'm crazy or whatever. She took it inside and she said, just wait here. And um, he came out. He just looked at me. He said, I just wanted to meet you and you can stay. You can stay in our schools. Uh, I was 12. Uh, a lot of people um, told me I couldn't do that, you know, but uh, I had to do it. And I had to do it for a very specific purpose. So anyway, so the advice is, uh, in the end, there are many things here in the United States that are possible that are not possible anywhere, anywhere else. But fundamentally, it's about you. And it's about your internal strength and your desire and your ambition. And if I had to give one last piece of advice to a nine-year-old is don't aim low, because if you aim low, you're going to reach it. Um, aim very high. Uh, if you don't reach your goal, that's OK. Uh, but always reach higher than you think you can achieve, and you will surprise yourself by how much you can actually uh, achieve and how much strength you, you have inside of you to get to that goal, whatever that goal is for you.